All right, all right, all right. You gonna learn today? I'm gonna teach you guys a few things today. So, technically, you're gonna learn today. What is up, guys? It is a girl back with another tutorial. For today's tutorial, we will be talking about the bikini area, the cookie, the downstairs, the vagina, the vagina, the whatever it is that you call your downstairs. That is what we will be talking about. I'm gonna give you guys some of my tips and tricks, some pointers, some hinters, some whatever it is that you guys want. This is Bikini 101 for you guys. It is the summertime. We all want a bomb bikini area. Let's be serious. We all want to go down the beach, go to the pool, go anywhere and not worry so much about some crazy hairs sticking or just razor bumps in our bikini area. We want that shit to be freaking smooth. So if you guys are interested on how I keep my bikini area nice and smooth, very flawless, very razor bump free, then vamanos, let's go ahead and get started. So I am going to tell you that this has actually been a work in progress. It has been very difficult for me to not only develop this routine, to find this routine and to figure out this routine. Now, one thing that I am going to say that there's a lot of people that either don't shave, shave completely shave just a tad bit just the bikini area some people trim some people wax some people do just a whole bunch of different things oh laser as well so i am one of those people that actually i used to wax completely and man oh man not only was it expensive it is beyond painful to get your downstairs area wax completely i don't know why i did it but actually i do know why i did it it was my sister's fault she is really good at persuading people to do things that they really don't want to do and then she makes them feel that they should do it because it's like the best thing in the whole entire world that's what she made me do if you guys are one of those people that waxes or did the whole laser then you know what kudos to you you're a better woman than i am i started doing this routine and that's why i feel very comfortable sharing it with you guys you're exfoliating you're removing not only that dead skin but also you're making room for the other hairs to come out smoother and easier so i started doing that started exfoliating really getting in there so what i do is i hop in the shower i grab my all-time exfoliator which i'm going to go ahead and link it right up here and i literally go ham i go in i'm exfoliating my bikini area i'm exfoliating the vagina just as i would exfoliate my face very thorough very delicate and I'm taking my time. It's kind of like a downward triangle. So I'm exfoliating a lot on this area and this area because that is the area that shows the most when you have a bikini, when you have your bathing suit on, when you have anything on. That is the area that you can see the most. That is the area that I want it to be the smoothest. The other area I really didn't care as much because I'm not going to be out and about like, you know, just showing the whole vagina. So you exfoliate really nicely and you do it while you're in the shower because while you're in the shower, you're most likely taking a either a warm bath, a warm shower, or if you're like me, you take a hot ass F shower. I love hot ass F showers. Um, I like a lot of steam while I'm taking a shower. So that steam, it opens up and declogs your pores and it makes it easy for you to exfoliate. So you go ahead and you start exfoliating. Next, you're going to want to grab an oil. Now, the kind of oil that I use, you guys know it, I am all about my coconut oil. It is very natural, it smells so good. It is really great for the skin. So once I go ahead and I am done exfoliating, I grab just a tad bit of my coconut oil, I put it on my hands, and I start actually applying it on the vagine, yes. Yes, you start applying it all around the vagina area, and you let it soak in, you let it sit there for just a few seconds, then you're going to grab a brand new clean razor. Now the kind of razor that I use is just the regular woman's razor, whatever. I use the woman's razor because I feel like the men's razor is too, is too harsh on my skin and I do have delicate skin. If you feel like you need like a better razor, whatever it is that you use, just grab whatever it is that you're comfortable with. I grab a brand new razor because it's going to make it very easy for me to just shave. So as I am shaving, I am shaving downward, mi gente. I'm not shaving upward. I'm not shaving sideways. I start shaving downward. The way that your hair grows, your hair goes downwards, that's the same way you're going to be shaving. And you're going to go very soft and very smooth because the oil can get a little slippery. So you want to be as gentle as possible in that area. If I think that it's smooth enough, then I just start shaving. Just shaving all kinds of ways because by then... I'm not creating that razor bump because I already shaved the way that the hairs are growing. Also guys, I do want to make a quick disclaimer. This is what works for me. Whatever works for me might not work for you, but I did want to share these tips and tricks. 
and another thing also is I actually do the same as I routine that I do for my bikini area I also do it for my underarms as well because like I said we all can get these ugly razor bumps no one wants razor bumps these are sensitive areas in your body you need to learn how to treat it you need to learn how to take care of it and that's just the way that I take care of it guys and that is it guys those are my tips and tricks on how I keep a smooth bikini area I wanted to share that with you guys because like I said guys it is summertime and everyone wants a nice smooth bikini area everyone wants to feel confident and not worry about any crazy ugly razor bumps because that is the ugliest thing anyone can have is razor bumps and no one wants razor bumps so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial please don't forget to like and subscribe also hit that notification bell so every time I upload you guys are notified and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.